Good morning, Calvary, and welcome to your word for the day. My name is Pastor Mitch, and today we're going to be looking at Proverbs 27, verse 2. Let someone else praise you, not your own mouth. A stranger, not your own lips. Throughout the Bible, we see God using imperfect people to do amazing things. I think about Moses, who lacked confidence in his calling and was a murderer. And David, who was an adulterer and a murderer. And Gideon, who also lacked confidence in himself and always second-guessed God's plan. And none of these people had much to boast about. They failed morally many times, but God still used them. Not because of their strengths, but in spite of them. And looking back at the stories, it's easy to see them as Bible heroes or heroes of faith. But in reality, they were all dealing with their own weaknesses and their own insecurities. And God used them to do amazing things. It's nice to hear when people appreciate you, when they tell you that you're doing a good, a good job or that you are really gifted in some area or skill. And when we don't hear those things from others, it can be real easy for us to default into bragging about ourselves. But the Bible tells us not to do that. In Matthew 6, Jesus tells us not to boast about ourselves, for if we do that, then we have already earned our reward in the praise of others instead of the reward that God wanted to give us. So my challenge for you today is to find a way to boast, but in a good way. Boast about what God is doing, uh, what God is doing in your own life. Boast in the way that he is changing lives. Boast about the way that he is continually uh, helps his people to grow closer to him. Maybe you could boast about others. You can find the good things that other people are doing and make a big deal about it. When we boast about others, we get a chance to encourage them and lift them up in a really powerful way. And finally, if you must boast about yourself, boast about your weaknesses and how God used you despite your, short, your shortcomings. It shows others the power of God that if God can use that person, then surely he can use me too. You see, we often try to put our best foot forward and show people how we have our lives perfectly put together. But it's when we give our testimonies of how God is doing amazing things with imperfect people that we see God really move in powerful ways. Thank you for tuning in to your word for the day. Like and share this video, and we will see you tomorrow.